Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully created our method, right? That is our cellular locking method. So if you want to check this cellular locking method, we have to do, we have to insert some of the data in here. So I want to do, I want to insert some of the data with using that seeder. Okay, if you want to do that work, we have already done it for the admin. That will be same now to create another seeder for the um, seller. So if you want to create it, that will be a PHP artisan make okay php addition makes cedar and i just name it as a sailor okay sailor cedar so that will be the sailor cedar now click as the enter so you can see there is a spelling mistake that will be the php artisan here t i s n php artisan and then make cedar okay, make cedar and that will i want to create another new cedar as a sailor cedar okay cedar now click as enter now our cedar is now successfully created and also i want to do and to create another sailor factory if you want to create it that will be a php artisan make and then factory factory and i want to create that as a sailor factory okay that will be the sailor and then factory sailor factory now click as enter now our factory is successfully created okay now go to our project into this project right now mm, that is our sailor logging here right now we don't need this i want to do i want to go to our this part that means that is in our which place that is in our database right if you go to that our database database that is a factory you can see there is a factory i have created new one as a sailor factory so better i copy everything from our admin factory and first of all i want to do and load it and load it in here i copy everything from our admin factory and then there are some of the return value i copy it in our destination method in our sailor that is a destination method here i want to do and to paste it great now i want to do insert that name as a sailor okay sailor and automatically that will be generated some of the email address and then our password will be as a password it will be insert some of the hashtag password right great great so here i successfully done this job now click the save all and after that we have to work in our um, cedar i have also created as a sailor cedar so set the sailor cedar i want to copy the, the same that i copy that we we'll need that model we we'll need that model for the sailor i simply paste it and our type now our model name as a sailor right that will be the sailor model and also i want to create another one that will be admin create i copy it and now in our sailor cedar here i want to do and to paste it okay in our admin run i have created that <laughs> admin now that should be changed right that should be as a sailor there is a sailor factory one will be created and also if you want to add these things in our database that means a main one you can also add it right now here mm, i want to do i want to cd it again for the sailor okay sailor there is a sailor model and into this sailor model i want to create that two factory create here okay you can do that things from to this position rather than you can also do it in here but i want to make it in particular that area because for the first time when you run that cedar this database cedar is running okay this database cedar will be run so that is our sailor model here that will be created too great that's all now click as a save all and now if you go and now if you run with the php artisan artisan and then the db okay db and then the seed so i make it as a php artisan seed db seed now click as enter yeah database uh, sending completed successfully so now if you go if you go our database says a sailor database click as a rebrowse Mm, you can see now our name as a sailor is automatically generated one of the email and then the password right now if you want to check it because i have already done our method for the logging in our site right now we don't need this i close it i close it and close it and there is admin controller there is a sailor controller i have already created this method as a sailor logging so if everything okay that should be display and be directed to our sailor dashboard and also it should be display some of the message as a sailor logging successfully rather than it should be display as an invalid password now let's check this out click as a save all and now first of all i want to do that is in our sailor logging right you can see there's also another template as a sailor easy so if you put that inappropriate email address password logging Yes, you can see it's now display as invalid email or password. 
right and now if you put that appropriate email address like for the seller appropriate email address as a this one and password as a default password right i make it as a password p a double s w o r d so that is a password now if you click as a locking if everything okay it should be redacted to our seller dashboard yes yes you can see it's also display as a seller locking successfully that is a redacted to the seller dashboard right so that is our seller dashboard right now i'm actually using the same dashboard if you want to load the different type of dashboard you can i hope you already know how to do that work perfect that means our this functionality is work perfectly now we have to complete our this logout right so for the logout i have already done it uh, we have to do we have to go to our index that means in our view in the view that is our seller master that is a sailor and that is our index right into this index area here i have already created before um, for the logout okay you already i hope you already know as i told you it will be very easy you can see that i have already created the route as a admin logout now to create name as a sailor logout a sailor logout now we have to create this route i copy it now go to our web um, you can see i have already done these same things for the logout for the admin now that will be another one I name it as a same name as a, a sailor logout. Okay, that will be the sailor logout. And also here I I didn't load that our middleware right. <laughs> Rather than you can actually you access it better. I show you like I right now complete that logout. So that will be the sailor logout. And into the sailor logout that is also another middleware. And now I want to do and to make it our controller name. There's a sailor controller that will be our sailor logout in path. And I want to create another um, method. Method will be as a sailor logout. Okay, now I want to do and to create this method. I copy it. Now in our sailor controller here after this, that will be the public and then function. And then that will be our method name as a sailor logout method. Okay, so into the sailor logout method, what exactly I have done uh, in our admin? That will be same. Better I copy it. And now in our as sailor controller, I want to do and to paste it, and that will be our and method. That is our and method. Great. Okay, here everything will be same. There is a auth. I have already loaded this auth here. Make that sure you load it, and then there's a guard right now, or guard name as a sailor, right? That is our sailor logout, and it will be returned redirect to our sailor logging page. Sailor logging page. I have already created the route name as a sailor logging form, right? Now to do and to redact it to our this sailor logging form page with the error as a sailor, the sailor sailor logout successful. It should be displayed this type of one of the message. Great. Now let's check this out. Click as a save all. Now go there. Click as a refresh. And now if you go now click as a logout. Yes, you can see it's not successfully logged out, but it's redacted to our admin logging. It's because of all, maybe I'm using the same method. Uh, you can see that is an index method and also that is the same name as the index method. Our prefix is the different, but our method is the same. For the reason actually is happening, but I make it as a sailor index. Okay, sailor sailor index method. I copy it and on to the update these things in our sailor that will be as a sailor index method okay then that will be written direct to our sailor locking page now let's check this out click as a save all now go there now i want to do and to refresh this page i want to locking with the sailor okay sailor uh, locking now click as a enter now that is our sailor locking okay here i want to do and to logging with the sailor name i copy it and then if you um, just simply add that email address password as a password now click as the enter that is logging hmm. i am successfully now logging and it's also display as a sailor logging successful now click as a logout again it's redacted to our admin login right it's redacted to the admin login why hmm, i have already changed that name as the index hmm, which is totally fine everything is great there is a logging and there is a logout for the sale. You can see I'm actually using that middleware as an admin. That will be obviously our sailor middleware, right? That will be our sailor middleware. Now let's check this out. Click as a save all. Now let's check this out. Click as a refresh. I want to access that as a sailor. 
okay sailor locking now there is a sailor locking page I copy it now into locking with this email address password as a password now login yeah I am successfully sailor is logging successful now click as a logout yes you can see there is actually the middleware issue and you can see it's also display as a sailor logout successful and now it's now redacted to our sailor logging page okay that was actually middleware issue because before I use that as an admin middleware for the reason is detected to our admin uh, say logging page now everything is great okay but here right now if you want to access that our dashboard sailor dashboard click the enter now you can see you are able to access our sailor dashboard so that should be not like that right here if you want to protect it I have already created that middleware as a sailor middleware now we have to protect our dashboard with this okay that is a middleware as a sailor now you are not able to access it click as a save all right now i am not logging and now if you refresh it it should be redacted to our sailor logging page you can see it's redacted to the sailor logging page and also display message as a please logging fast okay that means this part is also successfully done only we have to do here i want to display our name okay that means uh, that is our email and the password and now if you're logging now it's successfully returned direct to our dashboard page user that is sailor locking successful but only here i'm going to do and to display that name if you want to display it, that is in our sailor index page that means in our sailor and there is an index right before i have already done this job i hope you already know what exactly the things you have to do you can see there is a locking sailor name so if you want to display the name that will be the same logic that i have done for the admin so that will be as a um, auth okay that is auth and then the guard so our guard name right now will be as a sailor right that is a sailor i simply loaded this sailor when that will be as a sailor then i want to do want to access that user okay this user our field name is the same name as a name right if you go here also our name as the same name as a name and then email if you want to display both of this you can display it i copy it and also I copy and then paste it so that will be as a auth guarded when that will be as a sailor guard user will be I display the name and then email okay now that should be updated now click as a save all now go there right now I am already logged in now that should be display as a sailor name as a sailor yeah you can see it's now display the sailor and then email address so that is our sailor name and then email address okay friend I hope every part is very much clear to you great we successfully logged in we without logging you cannot able to access this our dashboard if you want to check it again and also there is a logout is working perfectly successfully detected and also display as a um, sailor logout successful if you want to access that dashboard without logging you are not able to access it great here also i protect this url now there is another part for the register in our next video i will complete this register so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.